just just caught this on a PVA, solid PVA bag. Not to account by boat. Just is filled up with water. <laughs> Maybe do you want to take my rod? Drew, look behind you, don't forget your other line. How long do you reckon this has been out? A couple of hours. No, an hour and a half. Hour and a half. On a massive clear spot. Unfortunately, even though I wet it, my cord of safety clip didn't actually eject it. So hopefully if I'm going to cut that down after. And the top lip. And that's exactly the same rig that went through on my last video. Oh, I'll just get my sling in it. Sling's massive compared to this tent. What? No, you just set it to zero. My scale. Are you weighing it? No, I'm just going to put it in there. I might wait actually. Do you want to grab my scales? They're in the top of our camo jack. <laughs> It's got to be about six pound, so it says eight eight. Looks a lot bigger, it's a chunky tent. I'll just have a quick so I can get a snapshot off of it while he's got his fins up. That look alright? Yep. If you press the shutter, you might actually be able to. Yeah. Oh, 
back and get the rig back. second tench I've had, I think it's a tench anyway. <coughs> I haven't actually seen it yet. It's got me locked up in a weed bed. And all I'm doing is just keeping constant pressure on it. And just sort of let the rod do the work. And you will feel the fish just sort of kick free out of the weed bed. Just change the angle of your line. You have to. And then it's just come free. And then if you keep the tension on, keep bringing it in. If it does want to go, let it go. And then you'll probably end up back at square one in a weed bed. <laughs> but you've got to do it. There's nothing you can do down this lake. Right, we're down here at Meeple on the B Lake, just a local lake toward, towards mine. Um, and I've had two tench so far, only one's been landed unfortunately, but I'm just going to take you through the rig, like step by step, how to do it. So, <coughs> just get your piece of coated braid, and roughly, I don't know, 12 inches, strip half of it, so like this half is completely stripped. Then double over your stripped centre or piece of braid, wrap it round your finger because you want a nice big loop for this rig because I'm going to be using a snowman rig basically. Just wrap it round your finger, pull the loop off, twist it, and then put the loop through the loop. You want it probably about an inch where your knot ends, so like that. And get your nail clippers, just trim off your tag end, like so. And then what I like to do is put my bait on first. Just get my pop up. And what you need to get is any pop-up really, like it's up to you if you want to match your hook flavours and that, I don't, I'll just go for the stinkiest sort of pop-up I can find and what you want to do is just trim off I'll just put a baiting needle through it so you're left with about three quarters of the dumbbell which is that piece that you want put that on to your baiting needle first and then put on either 15 or 16 mil boily and then that will actually critically balance your boilie so your hook don't have no effect on your on your bottom bait. And then put a boilie stop in. Any boilie stop will do really. You don't I mean if you want to add a bit of colour you can have like yellow ones or red or I just use the clear all the time. I don't. My theory on it is, you want to match everything on the bottom, so you don't want anything looking out of place. So like just a piece of yellow boilie stop on top, 
will like make it, make it look different. So I, I just want to match all my bottom stuff, and um, and then go with. I'm now using 30 plus size six hook. It's just a bottom bait hook. It's actually a size four. Sorry. Come in a packet like that. And then thread it on, going that way through your hook. Do one, two, three turns. And then pull your boilie the other side, and then just do the turns all the way down to the point of the hook. Like so, and then I'll do one back up. Drop that back through the same way end up with it like that then a quick clip just tie that on by looping it round your line and then thread it through the little loop that you've formed at the bottom lick it and then that's your rig done I know it looks a bit harsh and that, like that hook pointing out like that, but that will help hook it. That fish will find it hard to eject it. When you pull your hair along your shank, it's probably about 10, maybe even 5 mil gap between it. But that will actually kick out on the lake bottom and sit like that. So there you go. Just clip that on, put it in a PVA bag and job's done.